Imagine a holiday where you're able to see the pyramids of Egypt, the Amazon River and the Great Barrier Reef all on the same day. Well, it's not as inconceivable as you might think. SpaceX's latest launch called Inspiration4 is being considered a step forward in commercial space travel. Four civilians were launched into orbit around 150 kilometers higher than the International Space Station. The mission, which is raising money for charity, is expected to last three days. For further insight into the mission and what it means for the future of space travel, we spoke to two experts in the field, an astronaut who we'll hear from shortly and a physics and astronomy fellow at University College London. The latter, Dr Francisco Diego, gave me his thoughts first. It goes a little bit beyond, of course, because now it's going to do nearly 50 orbits around the Earth in these three days. So that is proper um, uh, space uh, uh, travel. And then it's going, of course, much higher. It's one of the highest uh, uh, ventures that, uh, that uh, uh, crew missions have had around the Earth. Is it safe, what they're doing? No, it is not. I mean, space travel is extremely challenging, extremely risky. You have to be very lucky. Of course, there are a lot of tests, a lot of... Uh, of uh, procedures that have to be followed. SpaceX has a very good record so far, but still, it's very risky. There are a lot of things that may go wrong. You have radiation, you have space debris, you have a lot of things that are, are, are risky. And uh, any ma malfunction has to be dealt with uh, with uh, very trained people, which is not the case. But Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield had quite a different view about the mission. It's a tremendous example of just how far the technology has come, Paul, how simple a spaceship can be and how reliable. And it, it's opened the door now to a whole new suite of possibilities for human travel up to Earth orbit. I think it's, it's been a very hard to get here. And a lot of countries have worked really hard, but I'm delighted to see those four people safely orbiting the world right now. Earlier this evening, we spoke to a physics and astronomy expert who said this endeavour is not safe at all. What's your view? Well, I've flown three rocket ships and lived in space for half a year. Um, uh, flying a rocket ship uh, has risk, but I think the proof is in the pudding in, in the ability to meet risk and be ready to face up to it. Um, but everything you ever do that has any value in life has risk. The real question is, what risks are they worth are, are worth taking for you, and what are the goals? And there is an entire solar system and universe that we barely understand to explore right now. And to be able to much more cheaply get to Earth orbit just helps open up the opportunities for us to understand everything that lies beyond our atmosphere.